Hey. How's it going guys? SharkToothMan11 here, and today I will be playing Camera Obscura. So this game is a platformer, and it's like puzzle based, and also kind of. And the main gimmick is that when you take, you can take these snapshots of the late, like the world, and then those you can use them. I don't know, I think it would be easier to just play it play it to explain, so I'm going to just get into it. Okay, so I've already tried to record this once, and I was having some troubles, so I'll just, but I'll just start off from the beginning. Okay, so this is your character. There we go. As you can see, like, I just took that snapshot there, and then I was able to, like, jump on it like this. See? They haven't technically taught me that yet, but you'll you'll figure it out. Okay. The tower. That's all it was. The tower. A civilization's greatest triumph. Its most colossal failure. And an eternal tombstone. No one with any sense set a foot near the tower, let alone ventured inside. So, I've already collected a decent amount of those photograph things in these levels, but I'll do my best to gather the ones that I see. The Grand Foyer. There's a little slime dude down there. Yeah. There the rubble that choked the Grand Foyer was as much as most dared to see of the tower. The sight affirming their cowardice and convincing them that they had no need to go any further. Yeah, so, so, I mean, since I've already played a little bit of this game, I'm already kind of into it, just because I love the, the, the gimmick of being able to like, do this and just like manipulate your surroundings in a weird way. It makes it like a lot more interesting. jump up here and I know there's something up into the left so I'm gonna do this and then that and then I can get this she wasn't the highest authority on the tower a few daring bands of academics and archaeologists had learned enough about the sun sect and their masterpiece to fill several books but it was always her pictures that went on the front covers and her magazine inserts so the character is a photographer I guess is what I got from all the other stuff too. Floodplain locks. Oh, my fuck. I screwed that up. aqueduct so I got this game as part of an indie bundle I think it only when I bought it it only cost like two bucks or something for four different games so I fell I died but uh, it's definitely worth it because just this game alone I probably would have spent like that much on just because it looks really cool and it's fun to play Oh, but I did not go up. Her camera had been her constant companion ever since she was a little girl. Through the simple device, she could have, she could save those memories she liked and crop out the unpleasant bits. And since I've already played through this a tiny bit, I know that, um, I kind of know, like, how long each the levels should be, so I'm probably going to be playing a couple levels per, like, two of, like, the big levels per episode. 
I think, I, I think I know how to get this one now. I, I couldn't get it last time. There we go. Perfect. The labor of the sun sector is characterized by unthinkable harshness, but it was a bur it was a burden members shouldered happily. What was a little blood and sweat when you thought you were building a stairway to heaven? Okay, maybe I did get that one. That sounds familiar. Nope. The creators of the tower were as ingenious as they were reckless. It was a miracle the tower stood at all. After so many centuries of abandonment, given how thoroughly they'd crisscrossed the mountain with their digging. So, if you've noticed, I'm able to clear the the pictures away with C the C button. So, you can do that if you wanted to, like, jump around stuff like that. Yeah, see? So that. So it just goes way faster. And it makes it easier to, like, jump up stuff. Certain things. Except when I do that. She realized coming to the tower was probably a mistake. Not for the danger to her life, which she had blithely faced many times, but for the danger to her heart, which she had faced only once before, when he had asked her to choose. And so, also from this beginning part, you get the sense of some past man who either maybe she had a relationship with or something, I don't know, have not gotten that far into it. Most people would probably be afraid of being down in the bowels of the earth alone, but she wasn't. She'd always been alone, comfortably alone, until he'd offered her an alternative. Why was she coming here anyway? What was she hoping to gain? She knew this place was a tomb, a home only to the dead. That went a lot smoother this time. Last time it took me, I kept falling a couple times, for like a few times. Okay, so next level is the bowels. Subterranean fissure. Tunnel slimes haunted the ruins and dark places of the world, sucking scum and decay from the floors. Were it not for the lethally toxic ooze they secreted, they'd almost be kind of cute. I think they are cute. Besides, with, look at their look at that little butt that it does when it tries to crawl. It makes a little butt. It's funny. And they also follow my snapshots too, so I can use that in different ways, either to try and kill them or whatever. sewer crawl space and so here I'm going to kill him see now I don't have to deal with him uh, let's see Trying to get back here for this. There were some smells, sadly, that even centuries of abandonment could not get rid of, but no indignity was too much to bear for a certain chance, for a chance at absolution. Also, those guys up top, they look like swoops from Mario. So I'm gonna do my best. I'm gonna try and remember to add a picture and edit in a picture of them, because they definitely look exactly like, like with the red wings and stuff. They look exactly like that.
perfect. That, I also fell a lot the first time. So maybe I'll go a little bit farther this time, I don't know, we'll see. Shattered Circus. I think there's something down here from what I remember. Yep. Uh, nope, that is not, okay. Before she'd stop caring about such things, she'd read articles about herself that described her as daring and a risk taker. But they didn't know, couldn't know, the truth that she knew. The instant she'd turned her back at the one moment that really mattered, she'd proven herself a coward. She hoped she'd be given the chance to disprove it once she reached the summit. Ooh, I lived. There we go. Surprised I made that. <laughs> Blessed, cursed, haunted, whatever you call it, the fact that the tower remained standing for so long after its inhabitants vanished was an enigma few ever dared to explore thoroughly. Penitent Apartments. So here I can kill them like that. But just makes it easier so I don't have to go around them. The tower wasn't a building so much as an entire city turned on end. There were probably all sorts of rare treasures and antiques to find, but all she ever truly cared for was reaching the top. There's something down here. Why had he chosen this place for burial, she wondered. He wasn't part of the Sun Sect. What reason could there be to go through all the uh, all the expense and danger just to bury a body at the top of the world? So that had made me think maybe the person she talked to has died, is what it sounded like. Sounded like maybe she wants she maybe he wanted his ashes spread at the top somehow just for some reason. I hope that was bad timing. Jumped right on him. Oh, I'm not moving. There we go. Okay. <laughs> Dang it. I thought I could jump over that for some reason. I figured this is easier. Hmm. Oh, I remember. It's this. I think. Got to, just gotta jump over that dude. There we go. Crushed crosswalk. They also have some, they also have like buttons to control, like looking around, like binoculars kind of. Just, I don't know, just so you get know what to, what to expect when attempting stuff. Is there something above? 
think it was, but that's kind of far, so I'm not going to bother right now. <clears throat> Dilapidated steps. As much as the crumbling staircase looked like a death, death trap waiting to happen, she knew it would only get worse once she got further inside the tower proper and just began to say, Ugh, ascending. Sorry about that. <laughs> oh gosh, no. I don't want to die right there. Oh, dang it. And after he's done the whole thing. Great. The music is very calming, too. I kind of like it. Oh, I didn't plan that accordingly. Oh, man. Yep. Whatever, just just let it happen. Just get all the deaths out of the way now. Just want to kill that one while you're still in there. level, I don't remember. Nope. Excavated scene. So, I have to beat this guy to the end. Which isn't that hard, because, yeah, that was not tough. Lower Spiral Terrace. There we go. Scavenger moles, known as ruin rats by those familiar with the forgotten places of the world, were fairly docile and oblivious, but reacted extremely violently to being touched. The slow, blind, snuffling beast transformed into a whirl of fangs and claws at the slightest provocation. But they're so cute! Look at them! And they don't walk off ledges. They're like little anteater anteaters. That was just obvious that there was a picture. The Great Spell of Terrace wound most of the way up the tower, providing some of the edifice's most bre breathtaking views. It was also, however, one of the most weathered and eroded sections, forcing would-be explorers to crisscross through the interior, wherever it had crumbled or collapsed. We gon' die. Cellar storage. Nope. Uh oh. Ah, uh, yeah. So when you hit them, they just spin like that and you die. So. Hooray. Let's check. Okay, I think I remember. Oh, I killed one. Ah, oh, damn it. I was trying to let him pass. Just get out of the screen. There we go.
Yes, I did. Made it. I think maybe I can just like lure him off. No. Pretty sure it's just the picture up there. So I know I can go right to finish the level. Yep. So maybe another time I'll get that I'll get that one. Servant's galley. tower was the ultimate expression of the sunset's faith. Even those in the crowded, musty bowels of the tower considered themselves blessed nearly beyond reasoning to be living and working in the sex masterpiece. How, then, it became to be, came to be abandoned virtually overnight was the subject of much debate. How did it become abandoned? Okay, so that was two of the areas done. Since that was about 20 minutes, I'm going to call that an episode. If you like this video, make sure to leave a like and comment below and subscribe. So, have a great day.